In this video, we're going to learn about keyboard input and mouse input. And joystick input doesn't really matter. It's pretty much the same thing. You can figure it out on your own. So you go to Learn, Tutorials, Window, Module, Keyboard, Mouse, and Joysticks. So we have our project from before, from our template. And what we're going to do is we're just going to detect if the user pressed the up key. Uh, so we're just going to go down to keyboard. We're going to copy this code, paste it in after window.clear in our main game loop. We're going to get rid of the stuff inside. And here's how this works. We have if, I assume that anyone watching this is knows C++ uh, or C. So if SF keyboard is key pressed, SF keyboard left. And this syntax, you don't really need to memorize. I never have, and I've made some prototypes. Uh, all you need to worry about here is this part right here. And it actually shows you your options about what keys can be pressed. But it's pretty much all of them. So we're just going to type up. So now when the keyboard up is pressed, for each frame that it's pressed, it's going to execute what's inside of the if statement. So we can create a C out and we can say the up key was pressed. So now if we run this, let's look down at our console right here and nothing is showing up. But as soon as I press the up key, the up key was pressed. Okay. So this is extremely useful. So what you can do is you can say, oh, well, what if I want the W key to be pressed? I just type W in here. And I can say, oh, the W key was pressed. And so as soon as I let go, it's, it's not going to be executing the code inside anymore. It's the same thing for your mouse. So um, yeah, so let's say you want to fire some missiles or something. Uh, we're just going to go SF mouse is button pressed and then SF mouse, and then this is the left clicker, there's the right click, and it's the same thing, we execute some code. See out, mouse left pressed, and that would work the same way. So, um, let's say that we wanted to have our mouse at a specific position. Here's what we would do. We're just going to paste this code. And so if we wanted a global mouse position, which is relative to the desktop, so the desktop starts at 0, 0 up here, and it goes positive x this way, and positive y is down. And so the mouse would start at um, 0, 0 if our mouse was right here. So let's get rid of this thing. And so we have SF vector 2i, so it has a X and a Y um, dimension to the global position and it's uh, this is being fed in by sfmouse.kit position. So let's say we wanted to display what the X and Y dimensions or location was to our console. We could write C out global position dot X and then we could leave a space and we can go global position dot y okay so now we can see that um, it's showing the x and y relative to our desktop and so if we're up here it should be zero zero and it is and positive x is this way and positive y is this way so that's exactly what we predicted So let's say we wanted to get our mouse position relative to the window and not our desktop. We would use this code right here. We're getting the position, but we're using window inside this bracket, unlike it being empty right here. So that's just, we're naming uh, it local position, and we can also access it the same way 
and display it. So we'll just change our C out to local position and we'll run that code. So now if we're up here, we get a negative numbers because it's not relative to the desktop anymore. But if we're over here, we get start at zero, zero again. So it's relative to this window right here. So it doesn't matter where the window is, it's still gonna give us a zero, zero value at the top left. We can also set the position of the mouse using SF mouse set position and that's going to actually move it to this X and Y relative to the desktop right here or if we type comma window we can move it relative to the window. You're uh, probably not going to be using this a whole lot maybe if you had a like little pop-up and you wanted it to automatically show up where um, the little button was so that the player didn't have to move the mouse there then that would be useful but quite honestly I haven't really used that uh, the joystick is kind of uh, like the same thing uh, but I've never used it it's just a if the joystick button is pressed then do execute the code basically so that's pretty much it for the keyboard the mouse and the joystick so just to recap uh, we have if statements and if the key is pressed and we type in what key it is right here then we execute the code and it's every single frame we also have the mouse so we can use the left or right or other um, mouse buttons and then we can also um, get the position of our mouse and we can set the position of our mouse and those are pretty much all the basic commands that you're really going to be doing thanks for watching and like the video if you thought it was alright